So chapter three in the Beauty Queen uh, saga, so called saga. It's just a, uh, a story to tell grown grandchildren, maybe. And since there's no one to tell, I'm telling a f fictional interlocutor, a fictional man or woman I'm having a conversation with. And forget about the pandemic for a while. So briefly, the background, the revolution, the big change, a poor country, the turmoil, uh, some adventures I mentioned, the miners came here, Stone Age, violence, uh, some good money working with, um, with some uh, journalists, some mass media coming to show the world, broadcast from here, the revolution, what happens after, violence, miners uh, kicking people in the head. Shots fired, one bullet stopped in the engine of the car, could have killed Hadrian. Um, a, a wild summer, a, 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 an explosion of energy and, I don't know, of desires, and, and uh, since you couldn't do much, uh, we were making money, but still it was... Um, A liberation after a period of famine, of cold, of no, of, 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 of gulag, uh, a huge uh, labor camp in some ways. So once the gates were open, people had a uh, frantic desire to 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 enjoy. <laughs> One way to enjoy is sex, of course. And we're reaching the point where, coming out of a lawyer's office, I meet this, uh, follow her at the place where they sell train tickets. Uh, uh, we we talk, and she says in the car, I offer to give her a ride. And when I say, what is she doing or something? Uh, no, 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 I, I correction for the, from the last time. Uh, I'm, as I said, I have to repeat, I, I don't remember many of the details. In fact, not just details, I don't remember whole portions, but... And once in a while, I have to use logical deduction. And the point here is also to try and find out what happened. I didn't have time to think. It was <laughs> uh, thoughtless. It was uh, brainless quite often. And sex, which endangered uh, one incident in the summer of 1990. I went with a car to have sex uh, out of the mama, out of the resort, uh, careless of what is around. Maybe I should have thought this is a place where people come to have sex. It's uh, near a busy uh, resort town and I uh, had not been the only, the first to think of getting the car there and uh, have coitus. So I should have looked around better and then a crazy guy comes with a something like a baseball bat and smashes the windows with a lot of damage. It could have been worse. It could have been hurt. So thoughtless activity, but then maybe there is some sense now. Maybe there is something in looking at past deeds, events, uh, little adventures, uh, especially during the pandemic, especially when now there's nothing to to enjoy. <laughs> um, and there's a crazy bird uh, killing any joy. So, um, thinking about it, I said last time I must have asked her what is she doing, and she said something with a student and Ms. Romain. I don't think she, that was the line uh, she took when she said she, she's Miss Romania. No, I must have asked because I was, no, I was coming, following the timeline. Uh, with what happened in the evening. I must have asked, uh, what about tonight? What are you doing tonight? Shall I see you again? May I see you again? And then she must have said, uh, tonight I'm going to the, the award ceremony 
where I am offering a price. Oh, really? Uh, that's Miss Romania. That's Miss Romania. Well, I'm, I'm Miss Romania. And then I <laughs> said something with the Maharaja or something like that. I am the um, Sheikh of uh, Oman. I don't know. Uh, but I said, uh, well, you are. And it turns out she was. And we established um, that we would see each other in the evening. It would be a date. I would take her to to the ceremony from from Yulia Hajde or Bor thereabouts to uh, the children's palace, the place where they had this ceremony. And now I'm thinking, you see, analyzing the past, analyze this, analyze that, uh, only without uh, Robert De Niro and Billy Crystal. So that was already a first mistake there, I'm thinking. Because taking her with a car, being the driver, the designated driver, the Uber guy, or uh, Glow, whatever else they have, Lyft, uh, was not the point. I mean, to offer her a ride uh, was, um, made sense, um, especially in that time when uh, this was something. I mean, you didn't have Uber. You didn't have you didn't have many cars on the road, and you have to uh, wait for a taxi for a long time. Taxi services were um, uh, people were starting businesses, but it was uh, uh, still close to non-existent. Anyway, but the the other part. I didn't have a ticket, so maybe that's one reason why. But still waiting for her in the car to come out and then take her to the train station. Um, maybe that was not promising to, uh, 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 the best. And to anticipate, I would do that quite often. And so it, it, first of all, I was getting too involved. I've been too involved in, in um, let's say, the professional business side might not be the word but in the professional um, part of her life and then doing too much and doing some things which would would not would would, would affect the private the, the emotional uh, bond I, I'm thinking and Maybe I lowered my profile. True, again, anticipating uh, her, the mother, her mother, the family, herself, uh, had other grand designs. They wouldn't be happy with just uh, me being uh, uh, a promising, uh, uh, I don't know, businessman involved in a small business. Uh, wouldn't do. They went for the for a bigger trophy. She would marry, anticipating. Uh, <laughs> there's no large crowd there upset that I'm selling already the uh, the ending of at least this part, part two or four, whatever in the life story. She would go for a guy who uh, had accumulated or would have accumulated. <laughs> It's future in the past, uh, tense for this thing, because we're still not there. But anyway, she would marry a guy with a lot of money, true money stolen from taxpayers, from the state, from us all or something, because she was, she, he, he, I'm sorry, he embezzled, he, he would go to jail, the guy. So, that's, that's not, that, that was not satisfying in the least. Well, on the one hand, there would be some sort of punishment or some justice. I mean, you go for uh, 
the material things, you, you, you apply the Melania model, let's say, married to an old fart, a very stable genius, uh, for his money, but then you get the other uh, things included in the package, albeit in the Melania case with her fucking, who cares about, who gives a fuck about Christmas. She is just a brute. I, I see her as a, a creature with little, if any, brains. Uh, showed in some leaks, showed in the fact that she appears to be cold to the guy, but still she's embracing with him whatever the monster stands for. So if you associate with a monster, what are you? A creature from hell, too. Uh, so anyway, returning, there would be some, some justice, some punishment for this beauty queen when she opts, she decides to... Uh, get a lot of money, but then uh, uh, she has to take some of the shame associated with a, a downfall uh, of the guy with a with the status of a wife of a con man, a crook. <laughs>